Hey, Jim Bergman with Measure Quick. We get a question a lot about uh, proper pro probe placement on a heat pump in the heating mode. And so I've got a heat pump here. This is the true suction line. It's uh, center of port of the reversing valve and it goes to the compressor. So this is, uh, we're gonna you know, hook up the suction port on here. A lot of times these will get ported down. They'll have a little tube that ports down and you might connect you know, down at the bottom here. But uh, this one, because the compressor is on the outside here and the reversing valve is on the outside, they put it here. Now, because this is a true suction line, we're gonna mount the suction clamp here, right? This goes right to the compressor. We wanna stay far enough away from the compressor. We don't pick up the compressor heat, but this is the true suction line. On a heat pump, this is the vapor line. You gotta remember the terminology uh, all changes. There's no uh, evaporator and condenser. There's an indoor coil and an outdoor coil. This line changes from the suction line to the vapor line because this can, this can be hot gas that's coming uh, to the indoor coil for heating, or it could be cool suction gas coming back uh, to the compressor from the cooling mode. So what we do is we take the discharge uh, clamp now and we clamp that to the, uh, to the vapor line and we'll remap that from discharge line to vapor line. The liquid line is always the liquid line and this can be the, uh, the cool liquid going into the indoor coil or coming back and going through the uh, uh, heat pump in the heating mode. But it's always a liquid line and that's why this has a bi-directional dryer on there uh, when we're setting that up. But that's all there is to it. You just gotta make sure you get the true suction on the true suction line, remap the discharge line to the vapor line, liquid line is always in the liquid line and you're good to go.